Y'all yeah, guys, it's time for Christmas. Oh my god, it's work time. It's time for work. Oh my god, dangin' rompa. Oh man, do I not look great? I don't think I look very great at all. But listen, but what well, can't be solved with some tea? Oh, it was time, time to, time to do some, time to what? Time, time to what? So by the lighting, you could assume that it's like the evening, but it's actually only been an hour since I started recording or like started working. It's only been an hour. It is literally three. 37 p.m. and it looks like it's really dark outside I mean well like dark enough that I can't rely on daylight and I had to turn on all the lights it's because like it's I'm still trying to get used to vlogging again um, uh, clearly not well because I covered my hand with the, with the camera as I turned it around. Um, yeah, that's, um, that's really great. Been a YouTuber for like five years, four years, and I'm still covering the lens with shit. I, I really hope that I got that. Like, it's really funny because, um, um, my, one of my best friends, Elf Boy. Um, you may know her from my past videos as Heiki. She has since then abandoned that name and rebranded as Elf Boy. Um, Heiki's like really old, but like you can look back at my previous videos, like in 2018, especially when we did convention touring together, and um, and she was known as Heiki then. Now she's known as Elf Boy. It's really, really funny that um, I told her about rain. Like she was telling me how rain is like her favorite uh, weather. Like raining, especially in Britain, is very light and um, quite refreshing. Um, and then I was like, Nah, mate. Like in Malaysia, when it rains, it, you go outside and you're in that rain. You feel like you're gonna drown. And um, there's thunder and lightning and trees shake and if it gets pretty ferocious, I don't know, like younger trees will like break and fall down. Like that used to happen um, all the time when I was um, when I was growing up in this neighborhood uh, because um, this neighborhood has a lot of trees. Um, it's really lovely actually this neighborhood. But like, um, um, and then I sent her a video of what Malaysian rainy day is like, and she was like, "Oh fuck no." I don't want like I said I like rain but that is not rain that is like that is like hell and um no like fuck that I'm not I'm not coming to visit you and I was like <laughs> so it's also um I hope that got I hope that was caught I hope you can see the lightning on my face and stuff like that. Um, dang. Dang dee dang dee dang. I'm gonna try and make regular studio vlogs. Um, I don't know if I can post them weekly, um, but I'll probably just do the thing where I just backlog a, back log a bunch of videos and just post them. It's, it's better, I personally think, it's better to backlog things because then you have something to post instead of posting everything and like did my internet die? no it's fine um, I think it's better to backlog a bunch of stuff and then just post it um, like I, I know it makes you know like the game grum schedule where they record a bunch of stuff and then just backlog it so it's like when you're having a busy week or something then you can you, you have a little bit of weight off your shoulders um, I think that's really important so it's cool to it's cool to be vlogging again it's cool to be um 
I think it was like part of the reason why Bean Blogs, uh, I used to do a, a monthly vlog of the sort of thing. Um, the reason why that one failed as a thing is because I was I was working in an office at the time and um, not doing much art at all and honestly just suffering because it wasn't really something I wanted to do and so um what is that? Honey orange oh Honey orange eh? I don't it on you Does that put it here? Yeah Lightning's terrifying. I used to hate it as a kid. Anyway, um, back to it. Um, the whole idea of like I wanted to do monthly vlogs because I didn't want the channel to die, and then I let it die anyways because I was um, I was doing a lot of um, I was doing an office job. I was doing an office job nine to five, sometimes even later than that. Um, architecture, and um, I was I was just hating it. I hated every moment of it, and um, and now I'm not doing that, and um, now I love what I'm doing, and um. And I might not be as um, aesthetic as like I don't have cute cups, I don't drink hot tea, I don't drink coffee. Um, there's not going to be any cool shots of me making coffee and pouring it into cups and stuff. I drink from a thermos, I drink from a thermos, uh, I drink cold tea and, um, and um, I keep it in a bottle like this because I'm really terrified of knocking things over and knocking and destroying all my electronics because that has happened to me before and um, that's about it really this clip has gone longer than I thought but I'm gonna try and do more studio vlogs I don't think my studio is very aesthetically pleasing but it's my studio I'm quite proud of it uh, so yeah I hate lightning I hate lightning so much I'm trying to film this for content I'm trying to film lightning for content but I like, can't get it. Oh, every time, every time I whoa, every time I do see it, like even a glimpse of it, do I panic? Because even though I've been living here in this country for like a hundred years, I hate lightning. Oh my god, go away, go away. Holy lordy. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's raining. Oh shit, it's raining. Some big heavy rain, and thunder and stuff. Yeah, bring it down. Content. Bring home and... Oh my god. That note, we... On that note, we do have a, a circuit breaker in the house. Um, we do have um, something that makes sure that the lightning doesn't destroy all our electronics. Um, but the only thing is that um, I've stopped work for now until the storm clears up a little bit because I don't want to be working on something and then suddenly um, all the electricity goes because um, it could be an excuse, could be an excuse to not be doing work but honestly I am um, uh, I just finished a washi tape design and I'm really really happy with it uh, I was going to make another one but I will do it later tonight um, I don't want to be, th that has happened before, I don't want to be in the zone and then um, um, and then the electricity goes off because um the thing is that once it goes off it probably will again until um till the storm clears uh so yeah there was this one time i was there was a huge huge storm and i was trying really really hard to i'll do like other work work that doesn't really matter if i save or not so like maybe a couple of like editing no not editing that would die uh maybe just like bullet journaling and stuff like that and like trying to get stuff down and um yeah, so, um, um, there was this one time that, um, I was working and then, um, lightning struck and, uh, everything, like, went dark and then we turned it all on and then I, and then my dad said that, don't worry, don't worry, I'll just turn it back on again and, um, I'll just turn it back on again, you can get back to work and then, like, literally five minutes later it went off again and I was like, and then he turned it back on again I said, stop! Stop, I don't care if the Wi-Fi is down, I don't care, just like chill. Just the storm's gonna come. We just gotta ride it out and um I'll work later. It's not that important. Like chill.
I'm in PJs. Don't worry, Wang. I'm in PJs. It's um, 9 p.m. And I guess the nice thing about working from home is that I can work this late and just change into PJs and all that stuff like that. So there's a couple things on this to-do list. You can't really see what I've written on it, but you can clearly see that Thursday is filled with stuff to do. I'm gonna reuse this page. I barely wrote on it, so I'm gonna, like, it's all in pencil, and I'm just like, other pages, if you ever look at my other to-do list, they're all on, like, pen and stuff like that. Um, a mix of pen and pencil. I try to fill out the whole thing, but today was, this week was just crazy. So, like, if you don't know, like, you probably don't. <laughs> But basically, I spent a lot of this week adjusting to a new stream time. So I made the really big change into doing my streams in the afternoon instead of doing them at night. Literally, this time at night, I would be doing streams right now. And the reason why I stopped doing that is because I was just kind of sick of like i i needed a change i hate like i i wouldn't say i hated it because i i loved i love twitch and i love working on twitch i recorded a video today um felt really really good and then sat down and edited the studio vlog which is this thing by the way so honestly i've done a lot of stuff today i'm very very happy with it i am now finishing the last thing that i needed to do before going to bed this is this is the this is the ultimate like this is like the last thing and i can literally call this day done but then i can do more work if i wanted to and i kind of want to um is um do some oh my god i have so much to talk about and it's only been like two days it's only been two days but so i first let's talk about the stream times first i changed my stream time from morning from the evening to the morning uh to the to the afternoon i was just trying to get closest to the view to the time where i noticed all my friends were streaming and you would know this from the tutorial vlog that i that the that i will make and publish because it literally has the same thing on it where i talk about how it's not good to to stress and worry yourself like that and so i made the big change this week to move to um another time of the day to do streams and it's worked out really well um i mean it's only been two streams and we have another one tomorrow but i'm really really enjoying the time because i wake up in the morning so this is this is what I used to do. I would wake up in the morning, worry about, do like bits of work all throughout the day and worry about how the stream is going to go um, and fuss and buss and all of that stuff. And then eat dinner, stream, be anxious from what happened on stream and then go to bed at like 3 a.m. and then wonder why I'm waking up at like noon the next day. So now, in just a few short days, I'm sleeping better because I wake up, I have breakfast, and then I do work, and then I have lunch, and I do a little bit of work, not too much, not too stressful, and then I stream, and it's early in the day, I have more energy, and uh, I'm just feeling happier, and especially this day, you know, you probably noticed that there's a giant window here, there's a ceiling-to-floor window here that... Um, so the lighting in my room is better i look better i feel better i look outside and it's just bright bright sunny sunshine outside you know and um i think it just makes the stream better overall and um and then and then the stream ends i have dinner like cool down um maybe do a bit of work um in the evening but not too stressed usually i chill and watch streamers do cute stream things and then and then i go to bed exhausted from streaming which is because like streaming to me is like almost like an injection of convention energy constant convention and energy from me and like yeah basically that's it and um 
I don't know how I don't know what to say. Um, I just enjoy streaming in the afternoon more, and um, and so that's the change that I've made this week. And then another thing that I've done is that I have edited, I have recorded and edited a new video today, and um, that's good. I mean, it's good to 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 you know to do that. <laughs> So yeah, so right now I am I am currently huh, how does how do people like catnip does do this? Um I'm currently editing my washi tapes to be print size, so I'm gonna print them out right now. I haven't colored them in yet because I wanna see how they look like when I when I wanna see what they look like when they're printed. I want to see what size they look like when they're printed, and I and that way I'll be able to to gauge how much coloring. Cause the line art is always my line art skills are pretty top notch. Not gonna lie, um, I am always going to have really detailed line art in things. That's just how my art is. Like that's a very subtle flex for me, um, but I. I just want, like I just want to, what's the word, I just, yeah I want to see how much colouring and shading I would go into putting these things together, basically. I just want to see what I'm doing so I'm not like just wasting my time. Um, because obviously you don't want to like finish all these things and then realize that they're all wrong. Uh, you, you don't want to spend a hundred years working on this design and like painting and painting and painting all these tiny details that no one is going to see and then realize that all of it is wasted when you get the product actually and then you're just like, oh shit, it's small. Oh my god, and then everyone, especially Elf Boy, would be like, but we warned you that it would be really small. And now and I'm like, why? I would be like, why didn't anyone tell me that it would be really small? And then and then she would literally be like, I did, I told you, I told you it would be really small. And then I'll be like, what? No. What? No. What? I'm the most annoying friend in the world. Why is she my friend? Whoops. Honestly? I thought that, you know, hold on, just focus. Honestly, I thought that it would be a lot worse. I thought that it would be so small that no one can see the details, but you can. I mean, they're small, but that's what makes it fun. All the little hidden details, like the, the chick playing gotcha, and the rabbits playing gotcha, and uh, and especially the onsen one. The onsen one, this one, is on a 20mm one. Uh, 20 millimeters, so it's bigger than these. I wanted it because I wanted more details in it, but it's, it's shocking. It's actually shocking how much you can see on the washi tapes, and... Um, I'm feeling really, really good. I'm feeling really good about these. I'm feeling really good. Like, I was worried that it would be too small or too cramped, but it actually looks pretty good. Everything comes across, obviously it will be smaller, so it's just a red line here, but it comes across well. I am actually in love. I am actually in love. This looks great. I am so excited. And now you guys have a small glimpse of future washi designs to come oh my god see me finish these hopefully by the end of the year and maybe make some more because i'm really addicted to making washi tapes yeah looking hold on my hair looks i just look better with my hair down so uh, looking at a bunch of other people's studio vlogs, well, some of them are an hour long, but some of them are as short as 10 minutes. So, uh, on the off chance that I, on the, I'm betting on the chance that so far I've recorded enough footage for one studio vlog, 
I think I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that chance and say that I, I did the do, and um, and say the first studio vlog is done. So we had an eventful week. I changed my stream times and feel so much better for it. Um, I sketched out near the three washi tapes on stream and then got them printed on a piece of paper to see how big they are and they look fantastic. Uh, currently, right now, Malaysia is having an international ban on um, sending posts out internationally. I can only open my store to Malaysians and Singaporeans, so right now the store is closed. But it gives me time to work on stuff like this, to, to, to actually fill the store full of stuff. And yeah, I know many people say that you don't have to fill it with so much stuff. But because I'm making the change from fan art to original, I would like at least a good one third of the store to be original, if that makes any sense. Because I've been working on this original stuff for the last four months. So I would like to have something to show for it in the store. Um, so... Yeah, so I would... I would like to have something to show for it. So I'm thinking about doing some sticker packs as well. I don't know if anyone would like to literally watch me draw them. I mean, I mostly do most of these things on Twitch, but you know, like having like a camera facing the thing and then you watch me like, I don't know. I don't know. I have actually bought, uh, what's the word? Um, a table camera, like a table, what's the word? A table stand for my camera and it's got like, kind of like like I saw it on I saw it on catnip's um, channel that she had a, a a camera stand for the table that had like these bendy legs so you can get some cool angles so maybe I can start having some shots that you're looking at my tablet and seeing like what I'm drawing I don't know um, we'll give it a shot and we'll see where we go because obviously this is the very first studio vlog but i'm excited about it we have um we have some good footage hopefully and you guys got to hear how loud thunder can be in malaysia so i'm gonna call it here i'm gonna bet on the fact that i have enough footage um and uh i'll say see you in the next one i don't know how often studio vlogs will be but i am recording I am trying to record interesting ones, interesting bits of stuff every day um, and then just kind of mushing it all together. So I'm not going to say that there's a schedule for studio vlogs, but so far I'm trying to keep up with the schedule of posting a new video every week on YouTube. So far, this is week two and we're kind of okay. And we have week three's video kind of done and dusted. Fantastic. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.